Hey guys, I'm IcelTPW, and yeah, don't mention anything about the skin. The skin is a work in progress. But anyway, wanted to do a little bit of a video about Draconic Evolution and how do you make the core. And once you have the materials, which obviously Draconic Evolution takes a little bit of time to get to, how to make a core can be a little bit difficult. So I wanted to start you off. Over here, I have a creative RF source. Um, you will have already at this stage an RF source at this stage, and I have a flux plug coming out of this. This is basically just to send energy to the core. Uh, what you're going to want to start off with is you're going to need some energy pylons, and you're going to need eight of these in total. So I'm going to pop these. It doesn't really matter where you put them, but I'm going to put them here for now. And these have got two states. They've got an in state and an out state. So I'm going to pop these here like this. First off, I'm going to put on the glass, which I'll need to do. And when you put the glass on, it automatically does this. Then you can switch these on and off by right clicking the balls here. So you can see that, that these will change color. The interior of these will change color. So you can see that it's gone to a kind of red or orange color. That's gone to an orange and that's gone to a blue or that's an orange and that's an orange. So that is for taking energy out of the core. And when it's blue, it's for taking energy into the core. So just put your glass on top like that and make sure that you've got switched, them switched on. Then you'll need to go into need to get a way of transferring energy into these to send it into the core once we've got the core set up. So you will need to have some form of energy source. Here I have a flux plug sending energy over to here. So I need a flux point here. Um, that's a flux point, which is this one here. So I'm going to pop this in the middle here, like that. And I'm going to select the network. I probably changed the one of those I did. So now that will receive energy and send it to these four pylons. Make sense? I hope so. Uh, I just need to click that again because that's gone to red, red, red. So they're all blue now. Perfect. And these are all red. Then to take energy out of the system, you will need another one of these plugs over here. Well, you don't need to have that, but that's what I use. I use Flux. It's a great little mod and it's a handy way of doing it. And I'm just going to make sure that that's on infinite power and that's on infinite power also. Cool. That's what you need to do first. Those pylons are the way of getting the energy in and out. Simple. What you need to do then is you need to have your energy core. Once you have your energy core, everything is only one step away from that. We're going to do a tier seven and we're going to do a tier one. We're going to start off with a tier one. You need to have this energy core. Place that sound down somewhere. Equidistant out. So let's say go two out here and you will need to have a, an energy core stabilizer. Going to go an equal distance out here. Let's go two and we're going to go one here and one here. Just to show that it doesn't have to be two. Once you've that done, you just need to right click on the energy core and build guide active we're doing a tier one it says stabilizers valid core valid which means that i can actually activate this now just like that simple so that is how you make a tier one core and this holds up to 45 million rf that's no biggie and that works without having any draconium or redstone the next one i'm going to make is the tier seven core and this is slightly different because what we need to do with this one and i'm going to go to creative for this is we do need to come out from this at this level so that we can make the stabilizer. So I'm going to just come out to about here, which is there. So I'm going to break this glass here for now. And I'll need to do that in four sides. Again, I can come out from here. It will be easier. And it doesn't matter how many you come out as long as it's equidistant. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put on seven here. And same here and seven and around this and then i'm going to take out the center core is i'm going to place one of each of these not there they're like this and here not there either and you need to have full nine so i will need to take out the middle one as well And then it turns into a circle. So we know that that is now a stabilizer, a correct stabilizer. I'm going to do the same on this side. Take that one out, pop that in there. 
And one, two, three, there. Take that one out. So we're now done on both sides there. Actually, I need to count out the blocks here. I never counted these blocks out, so I'm going to do the same here. And hopefully I have enough space between here. I should have. Maybe I don't. We'll see. I'm going to come out to 11 on this side. And I'm going to do exactly the same around here with the stabilizers and this now. And do the middle one. And that stabilizer is done. Now we're going to click on the core here and it will tell us if we have enough space. So core is valid. Stabilizers are invalid. Actually, we are good here on that side. And over here. So that is fine. So when you have the core here and you do build guide active, it does that for you. It shows you um, exactly how many blocks you are doing. And if you have the blocks in your inventory, now the stack of each is not enough here. However, I'm in creative, so it will be enough. So if I now click on the stabilizer here and go assemble core, it's going to take the items out of my inventory and build the core. And now, when we click on the stabilizer, it's saying stabilizer is valid, core valid. If I press activate, we now have error our tier 7 core. And that's how easy it is to build a draconic core. Very simple like that. And again, we can put down some energy pylons here. And this one. If you're unsure which ones are which, you'll see the arrows. If I right click. If I right click on this, once I put the glass on top, you can see the particles now going in there. But if I right click on this, on the ball, you can see the arrows change to out of the core and into the core. So I'm going to keep these ones blue and go these ones red. And again, put glass. And I'm going to put, for the one that's going into the core, I need to have a flux point because that's taking energy out of that network there. And you can see it's already putting stuff in here. If I right click in here, transferring 256,000 RF because I haven't, I've put a limit on this. However, if I take a limit off of this, if I click on it, take the limit off, it's now doing 2.1, um, uh, gigabytes, which is 2.147 billion RF per tick, filling up really quickly. And this one's taking energy from here. I need to take the limit off of this as well. And now that's going to be transferring energy here. So you can connect this flux point here from here. It's obviously going to be filling up because I've got no, no energy coming out. So that is how you make a core in Draconic Evolution for storing your energy. This is not the reactor core, guys, that can possibly blow up and wipe out a huge area of your world this is purely for um storing energy the tier 7 core is nearly at the maximum the maximum is a tier 8 that requires not just draconium but also awakened draconium it is a lot more an expensive build it is nearly an infinite uh, energy storage unit at tier 8 however if you need to have 2.4 trillion rf um and use it up it would be nearly cheaper to make another core than to make the tier 8 core. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. And another kind of mod showcase, slightly tutorial. That is how you make a core in Draconic Evolution, one of the greatest mods ever made. Um, some people will absolutely deny that. And I would love to hear what you think below, whether you think Draconic Evolution is too overpowered, if it's not a great mod, blah, 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 or if you absolutely love it. I absolutely love it, but that's my opinion. Guys, thank you so much uh, for watching this. Hopefully it was helpful to you and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.